Okay, we're just slewing to a satellite. It's Cosmos 367 NORAD 04564. It takes just a few seconds to get centered, and now it's tracking pretty well. We just came up off the horizon line, that, that uh, magenta line is the horizon, and that's when we can start tracking it. So this is nice, we get to go tracking, we're tracking exactly through the zenith on this one. So you can't really do this with an Altaz telescope. You'd have to kind of give up at the zenith and then find it again later, I guess. So I wanted to talk about Skyview that comes with the software. And um, all the blue things that you see there, those blue circles are all open clusters. All the green things are asteroids. You can track them if you want. And then you see a few comets. Yeah. And then the, the big plus and the bigger circle is a telescope. The satellite is a little small yellow circle, and then you can see the path of the satellite. Red things are the galaxies. And the magenta line you see there is the horizon line. We've got lots of trees. So in the video that we can see stars going by occasionally, We got a little bit of scintillation uh, tonight, the singing. So anyway, we're looking at the orbital elements uh, in plain text there. When you turn on that checkbox, you can see the perigee, apogee, the inclination, eccentricity, etc. Okay, then now you can see the tracking error. You can kind of control that by with the gain. You can see the position error gain. The higher the gain, the more it will oscillate when you first start tracking, and then at lower gain it would settle down faster and then kind of fade in. So it's a little hard to find low satellites, so I picked the lowest one I could find there. tracking pretty nicely and um, we're getting close to the zenith. You can see the telescope moving now because we're getting faster. And uh, that's a plane wave 12 and a half inch CDK telescope. It's got a Canon T3i uh, camera on it and it's on our alt alt telescope mount. Uh, yeah, that telescope is an F8, so it's a 12 and a half inch F8. Okay, looks like we just passed the zenith. And uh, now it's just a waiting game to see how everything goes. We did have a few clouds tonight. They kind of come and go, and we'll see how this one does. So the field of view is uh, 30 arc minutes. Uh, by 20 arc minutes. And we're getting closer to to the horizon limit now. So we see some stars going by occasionally. Getting closer to that horizon limit now.
Okay, I'm going to zoom in now. We can zoom in and watch it kind of go by. Zoom in a little bit more. Maybe we'll see one of those stars. Okay, so um, you can see on the data that's changing real fast up there, there's the Julian day, there's the azimuth and altitude, right ascension and declination, and then there's a current position error, and you can tell if it's in the sun or not, and then you can tell the rise times and stuff. Okay, it looks to me like we're going to be stopping right here at the horizon, so you'll see the, the telescope stop and the there. So it uh, looks like the satellite left the field of view, and the satellite is keeping going on the on the sky view. Anyway, thanks for watching.